Hello and welcome to another video. We're on our Renault Cup for this one. Yep, the Group 3 RS01 and the Group 4 Megane Trophy. Uh, first round is at Le Mans with chicanes. Yep, with chicanes, correct. And um, one tyre compound, I think, medium. Yep, mandatory tyre is the medium. Lovely. Lights are on. We're yep. about to go out. And away we go. We've got Tepic on pole there with Honest John in second, Matty third, Dave Speed fourth, Jag fifth, Greg sixth, Victor in seventh, who's just gone up to sixth, and uh, Anton down in eighth. Obviously, must have had a shot time or a I, I didn't qualifying. set a time, we had a shocking qualifying. I reckon so now. Yeah. And uh, oh, there's um, quite a few people gone off at the first corner there. Easy, easy to do on the first lap. Technic, here. they're on the soft tyres, starting mm, on the yep. soft. I'm wondering, I think because the medium tyre was the mantra one, I think he's on a counter strategy. Everybody else, I think, started on the mediums. Whereas Tepic started on the softs, hoping to make a break for it, and hoping that he didn't have the tyre wear issues that he had with the, uh, with the Nissans. But the dreadful Nissans. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he uh, seems to be doing quite well at the moment, and the Honest John is... Uh, Keeping Tepic honest, he's uh, not letting him get away. So if there is, yeah, Honest John is on the medium. So As, and Matt is on the mediums. Yeah, he's just picked up a penalty. That's half a second. That's got to be exceeding track limits. Dave right? speeds on the mediums. Yeah, I think Tepic is um, on the the only one on the soft here. Jack's on the mediums. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's on the mediums except Tepic. Has Tepic made a mistake? Well, let's hope not. Let's hope. Uh... Oh, what's do like Jags livery there, team. based on the uh, Formula One um, Renault team. Yeah, old Formula One team. Back from the no 90s, uh, late nineties, uh, yeah, two thousands, two thousands, I think it was. Um, what's Robbie on? We haven't seen Robbie yet. There we go. Robbie's on mediums. Yeah. So so far, the whole field's on mediums, other than Tepic. Yeah. So maybe Tepic's made a bit of a mistake there. Anton's on mediums as well. Yeah. <laughs> so there's only one car on softs, and that was the person who was burning through his tyres in the last championship. Yeah, but if he can get ahead uh, uh, enough, uh, Greg there is on mediums and Paul's on mediums. Yeah. So we'll start back. Here we go. Back up to. Yeah. Although Tepic, don't seem to be scampering away. No, and that's the problem because with the softs, he should be pulling out a bigger gap than that. Although the softs might not be too bad at the moment. No, um, long straight. So I know it's high much. speed, but they're not. Yeah, but they're not going to be put many. under any sort of no. uh, stress in the corners because there aren't that many corners. It's uh, long straights all the way. And somebody's got a penalty there. I couldn't see third place, which is Matty's got yeah. a penalty. Matty's got a penalty. That was an exceeding track limit thing. Um, and on the subject of that, that's a small bugbear I've got in this game. It comes up when you uh, exceed the track limit. It says you've ignored the track limit. I'd much rather have said that you exceeded it because sometimes it, you have to, you know, if you're taking avoiding action to avoid an accident, for example, for example, you know, you've tried not to hit anybody else, and yes. then you get you've ignored the track limit. Well, what choice did you have? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I might have to write off to Polyphony with that one and say, can you please change it to say exceeding the track limits? Anyway, we digress. As Tebbik has now started to pull out a bit of a gap there. Coming up to the so, end of the lap, yeah, I believe. It's still not enough of a gap on those soft tyres. That's it should have been a bigger gap than that. So there he goes. Yeah, we go to the final chicane, chicane, are we? Yeah. Is that the it's final the, chicane? Yeah, the final double chicane. Here it is now. Yeah. yeah. I'm leading on the start finish straight. So that's uh, lap one in the bag. Has he got the race in the bag? Well, I reckon so. And oh. the championship. <laughs> Bit too early to say that. Honest okay, John, John uh, second now at the moment. Yeah. Well, day speed first, day Matt hanging fourth, on well. Jagging fifth, Robin sixth. Yeah, Are Robin's... he having some problems? Mm, don't know. I didn't see where he'd finished on the qualifying. I don't know whether it was. Um, I don't think he had a, he had a bad qualifying. I think he had a bad qualifying. Did say yes, he had a bad started qualifying. right down at the back. Tepic's now edged out from. Uh, Honest John, if you look, yeah. look, look, look at that. He's um, still there, but he's not on his I'm bumper. I'm still going to say that gap's not not as big as it should be. I think that the soft tyres, you know, maybe there's not that much difference in grip on them between that and the mediums, because certainly I would have expected them to be further ahead than that. I'd expected the gap that Tep, uh, the gap that Honest John has got to third place should be the gap that Tepic has got to Honest John. If that makes sense. Yeah, possibly he has. Yeah. 
But anyway, it's early days, we're only on lap two. Lovely still panning shot here. Yes, yes, the the Molson Strait, is it, I believe? Is the Molson Strait, yes. And, um, Going into the first of the, two, of the uh, chicanes in the Molson. Boris John stuck with the standard livery for the uh, yeah. RSO1. So, uh, let's have a touch on that while we're here. So, is it alternating, I suppose? We've got the RSO1 this week. Yeah, then next week we've got the... Uh, the trophy. The, the McGann trophy, yes. The and, then, and then back in the RSO1 yeah. again. So and, I think and it's, so on. Is it a it's four? A, it's oh, no, it's a, a five. five. Race championship. Now, the thing is, with the final race of the Nordschleife, as you see... Nordschleife Endurance. Yes. Um, Jags picked up a one and a half second country. It must have been out in the barrier somewhere, I think. Um, but yeah, the endurance championship, well, sorry, the endurance race at the end, you can choose either the Group 3 or the Group 4. But I'd expect that most people would be in the faster car, would be in the Group 3 car. But then is the Group 4 better on tyres? I don't know. Is it well, I don't on fuel? know. I don't know. I think it's probably going to pay dividends to be in the faster car on that. But we'll see. Um, anyway, we've got Dave Speed still hanging on in third. We've got Robbie making a move on Matty. And uh, almost coming to blows there, but not quite. And Robbie goes off the track at the, you know, turning, you know, coming around, around the corner, goes over the curb a bit, but he's kept it together. Um, but yeah, still we down have got a, fifth place a gag look at a three, four, five, six there. Um, together. Yeah, a nice little gap. Well, and then, a gap back to six, and then yeah. a, little, a little gaggle of cars, which are all within touching distance of each other. Uh, we're still only on lap two, they're massively long laps on this, um, on this Did, track. Did uh, you, um, you say Jag had a penalty, is that why he's he, dropped back, because he was in the mix? Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure, is it, I mean the penalty zone's coming up, you see the day speed's got a half oh, second okay, penalty, so. that's, half second penalties are usually track limits, as we see, oh, is there a bit of argy bargy there, or no, is that just right. a game glitch? No, I don't know, it might have been a game glitch, so. oh, oh, I don't know, we've took it back there, so maybe yeah. it wasn't, so. Yeah, just a, oh, a like, bit of a uh, shunt there from uh, Robbie, Robbie. Tagged. Yeah. Uh, was it Matty? Yeah. Tap Dave Speed. Oh, no, he I think. Dave Speed. Yeah, which unfortunately the physics in this game sometimes it just launches as a bit of a rocket yeah. ship. Yeah. Which he has. Um, but to be fair, no harm was done. Yeah, Dave and Speed Robbie did ease off to uh, see if he could let Matty go. The problem with Dave Speed is he got the penalty too close to the penalty zone, which means he doesn't serve it on this lap, he's going to have to serve it on the next one, as Robbie was right on his bumper there, and um, he's going for, the, for a position. Is he going to get it? It's side by side. side and Matt is right behind him. Yeah, well. he's ready to pick up the pieces if these two have an off. But, yeah, and Robbie's still... No, he hasn't made it. He slots in behind Dave Speed, so... And Jack dropping well back. I don't know what's going on now. Um, I don't know whether Jag had any issues with the car, I think he was saying he just didn't get on with it, but I don't know, he might, be, might do better in the McGann. Yeah. That's the reason why we've got the two cars, is you might be bad in one, but you could be good in the other. So who's picked up a penalty now? Rob's uh, picked Robbie's up now picked up half second penalty, yeah. Again, that's track limits. I think I heard him swearing on the uh, in-race chat on that one for uh, getting the penalty. So what's this, the end of lap two? Lap two, yes. Um, oh, we skipped on now to lap eight. This has got to be sort of, I'd imagine this Look is... Look at the rear tyre wear. Yeah, this is, this is why we skipped on. We skipped on here for the uh, pit stops. So, uh, a so Tabit made those soft last eight laps. Yeah, I think um, that's, that was interesting because, I mean, uh, Honest John is on the mediums and he's pitting. And he's also used a bit more fuel. But he's and and Robbie's pitting as well. So the medium stoppers are pitting when on the So yeah. is Tepic now going to use the medium tyre he's to the end? He's got no choice. He has to put the medium tyre so on. So is Jack going to be here? No, so. Jack goes on to, uh, he's going to take the lead while everybody else is in the pits. It's a long pit stop here. It takes about 45 to 50 My joke, seconds. his tyres don't seem as worn as everybody no, else's. For some strange they're not as worn, but then... Maybe that's just the mediums holding out. The yeah. problem that Tepic's now got is that he's going to be in the slower of the two compounds between the softs and the mediums. Everyone behind him is going to be on the softs. Tepic made them last eight laps. Yes. Everyone else only has to make them last seven. Okay, it's a 14 so, lap yeah, race. So, um, yeah, that could come so back that to bite him. That could come back to bite him indeed. So but everybody trotting out the pits. Obviously, Jag hasn't had a pit stop, so when he does, yeah. that will 
Tepic will then be back in, in front. Yeah, it's not possible with the field to do a, 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 a no stop, unfortunately, or else, or else, uh, or else Jag would have had this race in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, the fuel situation dictates that he's going to have to pit. If not at the end of this lap, then certainly at the end of the other one as we're on lap 11 now. So Jag has obviously stopped yeah. now. Tepic's got quite a gap at the moment, but is it going to be enough? Yeah, it does, considering Honest John was right on his bumper, yeah. can we see second place? No, we can't. I mean, there's four laps to go. We might just do this. He hasn't but got hardly any tyre wear. It's the rears on this yeah. RS01 that seem to be the issue, not the fronts. But we need to see Honest John where he is. But Honest John is not in that same shot at the moment. There there's he is, Honest there John. There he is now. But I can't see wish how you, close wish he is. you could see the gaps on the replays. We've got yeah, Robin third. Jags dropped down to fourth with uh, what must have been his pit stop. Yeah, well, he was down in six or whatever when we originally yeah. saw him, so he's made a couple up. Dave Speed seems to have been the loser <laughs> here. Picked up another gorgeous livery, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Kellogg's Frosties, Kellogg yeah. Frosties, yeah. Anton, Although yeah, Anton's yeah, livery's not too bad. That's quite good, yeah. yeah. Down in six. What's he doing down there? Um, I'm very unsure. Yeah. Mine's not, well, I was going to say his mind maybe is distracted, um, but he's uh, on, I think he came into this race quite late on as well. Yeah, and he's on the soft tyres at the end, as you yeah. said, everybody will so be. Everyone's on the softs except for Tepic, and he's got four laps to go, and are those soft tyres going to come in to well, end? Is that gap between Tepic and Honest John going to I wish you could see the yeah, yeah, I wish we could see between. where, where uh, they all were because um, it is a nightmare. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how we go. And I'm going very wide there. He didn't get a penalty, but he did go very wide. Yeah. But yeah, very off form. Sixth yeah. place. Matty in seventh. Where's Greg? Greg's not even showing on the um, list. I mean, we've got nine nine players are on there but there's only eight people that show on the uh, top list so maybe unfortunately Greg's down in the last place as Jags picked up a half second penalty that will be track limits yeah. Robbie goes wide coming out of the exit so we can see Robbie behind Honest John yeah we still can't ah uh, hang on was well, that well we're going to skip on a little is yeah. that Honest John in yeah. just cut interview yes yeah. he is we're on lap 12 now so yeah. there's Tepic there. and Honest John is hunting him down yeah. So Tepic's tyres, let's have a look. Racing mediums, probably mm, caught a too worn on the not back. Not too badly really. worn though. What's Honest John softs like? That's what we need to see. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that Honest John's got the fastest lap. Which will, um, unless Tepic can pull anything out of the bag, he's going to give him uh, two points. Yeah, possibly. But Where Honest is John is closer. He he's is definitely closer. closer. Yeah. Where? As we're on lap 13 now, just about to come to the end of it. So we're just about to start the final lap now. We need to see what uh, Honest John's tyres are like. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely closer. That is definitely closer. Is Tepic going to be able to uh, finish his Tepic lap in on the, the last lap now, just yeah. crossing the line? But his a lap whole lap to go, and it's an eight point four mile lap. <laughs> and his lap times have dropped off. He's just just did a four oh six on that lap. Was uh, Robbie's now putting the fastest lap on a 403. Yep, 403. I think the Tepic's going to actually be quite happy about that. If Johnish John finishes second, um, that doesn't. No, points the, wise, that the won't extra two him. The yeah. extra two points means that Tepic's going to have a two point lead on this, and Robbie and Honest John are going to be tied. Yes. If Robbie maintains the fastest lap to the end. If Honest John pips it, then that's going to put uh, him and Tepic both the lead in the championship after the first race. Yeah, so we're on board of Honest John now. Yeah, rear tyres are sort of about a third worn on the rear left. Yeah, they are About quite a quarter worn on the rear, rear right. But still not too shabby, considering this is the final lap, he's still got plenty of grip in there. But that might be comparable to the medium tyre. Yeah, I love this shot as we're riding on board with Honest John now, so you can see what it's like from the interior of the car. Wiper blade in the vertical position just to sort of aid the aerodynamics a little bit. Yeah. And he's definitely closing Tepic down. I'm, uh, too close to call. I'm not a betting man, but I would bet that Honest John's going to have this at the end. Um, possible. I, I still think the tyres might be comparable now. 
um, because I think the the softs look into me they look half worn on the backs and the mediums the softer compounds are still going to have better traction coming out of the corners than the mediums, which are going to be a bit more. Well, let's see, we're grip. in the breaking zone here. Let's see yeah. if he closes up coming out of this corner. Or whatever. That's definitely the gap's only about, a, a, you can't see it on the screen, but I reckon that gap's only something about a second and a half. Yeah. And, and the uh, fast sector that gets a half second penalty for exceeding the track limits going into that second. Well, track. that's going to please Tepic there. That is that because a little penalty. That gets rounded up, so it might show as half a second at the moment. But uh, if he doesn't serve, no, I think he's going to get the chance to serve it. He should get to serve it because he's not too close yeah. to the zone yet. And the thing is, when you go through the penalty zones in there, yes, it says it's a half a second, but you've got the deceleration and the acceleration. It ends up being more like a second and a half. Yeah. Uh, I was, as I was going to say, if he misses out the uh, penalty zone and goes to the end, then the game rounds it up, so a half second penalty becomes a second. Second, yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're many, on it. Many a race has been lost with that, with someone crossing the line thinking they've only got a half second penalty to serve, and then bang, it's rounded up to a second and they drop it place. Looks like Honest John is really gaining He's on Tepic at this stage. Winding him in, yeah. It's, uh, uh, Tepic has not got this race in the bag, not by a long shot. But Honest John has got to serve the penalty. That is going to slow him down, and that is going to give uh, Tepic a bit, a bit of breathing, breathing space, space yeah. which he drastically needs. Really, yeah, yeah, because otherwise, I think that Honest John, if he didn't have this penalty, would have caught him at the end. But Honest John serving penalty. Yeah. Look, you can see Tepic yeah, pulls Tepic's, away. Tepic is, I'd say, he's safe now, unless he makes a mistake and has an off. Yeah, we don't know um, how far back Robbie is in third either. I'm um, looking at the track map, but it's, it's difficult to see because the, the uh, lap is so long. Um, you see the, um, yes, the blue arrows really close there. Together they look are. a lot closer than they actually are. So, um, yeah, providing Tepic doesn't make a mistake here, this is a long overdue victory. He hasn't won a race for a while. Yeah, that's going to be a solid so, win by the yeah. looks of it. And that gambled strategy, really. Yeah, at the start and, and it really was a gamble because yeah. it, you know, complete conscious strategy to everybody else. Um, didn't look like it was going to pay off. Fortunately for Tepic, it did as he goes into the last chicane. Still could make a mistake. No, he's cleanly through. He's going to cross the line for the win. Well done for Tepic there. Is that and a return honest to John. form? Yes, I hope so. Honest John there in a close second. And I think that is Robbie that in is third Robbie there. In the third, so yes. for the top three, actually, weren't that far apart at the end. No, I think they were covered by about seven or eight seconds. Very in interesting. The Robbie with the fastest lap there. And Jack gets, uh, comes through to finish fourth. Yeah, possibly there. So, um, yeah, no, not a bad race. Um, not sure about the car myself, but um, uh, some people obviously uh, don't mind it too much. Uh, I, think right. that, I think that Tepic quite likes that car. I'm not too sure about the McGann trophy though, but uh, well, he's got no choice. He's got to run yeah. that at the next race. So, um, as usual, hit the like if you liked it. And uh, where are we next we week? We are the Alsace Village Reverse. And that's in the um, that's trophy, in the, the, the group four, the is it? Trophy, uh, uh, trophy 11. I know that Tepic hates that track. Right, so, lovely. Well, we'll see you <laughs> then. We'll see you. Bye.